just to give you an orientation, here we are in Lima. This is the Andes Mountains, all the way up, all the way to Colombia, all the way down to Cerro Fuego. And then here's all the, the Amazon jungle. Quito is the biggest city up north. There's Machu Picchu and Cusco, and then Lake Titicaca out there. And so the Inca started in this fertile valley in the Cusco area. And, um, and as I mentioned before, if you went there in 1400 AD, this is about as, the, the size and the extent of it. And the way they went about it, um, I called, they would go to a nearby uh, uh, kingdom or tribe and they would make them an offer they couldn't refuse. And the offer was basically a very simple one. It said, if you allow us to uh, take over your land, we will allow you to have your local rulers. We will allow you to keep your local gods. All we ask in return is that we administer and that your taxes, your the taxes, meaning taxes paid in produce, a portion of that go to, go to us. Um, if you agree to that, then we're cool, right? Everybody's going to live. If you don't agree to that, that was the flip side of the offer, we will come in and we will wipe you out. We will literally remove you from the landscape. And the Incas would arrive and they'd have 100,000. I mean, they were, they were great administrators and great organizers. So they would arrive in a valley and they would arrive like with 100,000 warriors or 200,000 warriors. So you can imagine being a small kingdom and looking up there on the horizon, you got 100,000, 200,000 well-organized um, soldiers up there and this offer. And so most, most people went for it. So the empire that they conquered, um, they called Tawantinsuyu, which um, translated as means the land of the four quarters because they actually split the administration of their empire up into what kind of four quadrants. And one was Chinchasuyo, which is this green part up here all the way up in Ecuador. Um, then they had uh, Ante Suyo, which is out here in the jungle portion, Kunti Suyo down in the south, and so on and so forth. And these all intersected um, the four different quadrants in the capital of the Inca Empire, which is where they started in the um, uh, Cusco, their capital. But the Incas enlarged uh, previous roadworks and they became masters of road building in, 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 in the Americas. They, they made over 26,000 miles of roads so that they could efficiently move goods and armies and that kind of thing. There's no other way to do it unless you had roads. And, and uh, you can still visit, a lot of these are still extant. And there's one that ran down the coast and there was one that ran down the Andes, kind of like a ladder. And there's these cross, these cross rungs between the two. Um, and uh, it was, it's a, that's when you hike the Inca Trail, which is kind of interesting for those of you that have done it or are thinking about doing it. The Inca Trail is just a, a tiny, 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 tiny little bit of this 26,000 mile network. You know, it's, probably, it's the most famous because it's in great shape and it ends up in Machu Picchu, which is why people walk in. But there's 26,000 miles of these things. It's pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. 